Hello my loves and welcome to my channel. My name is Jess if you're new around here and if you're not new around here then welcome the fuck back my baby G. How the fuck you doing out here? How's life treating y'all? Oh, shit, you good? You chilling? You okay? How's your pussy today? Or vagina if you prefer that word. How is your peen? How is everything? Your bum hole, booty hole? I hope you wiped that shit properly after you done a shit last time, okay? No skid marks around here, okay? None of that shit no more, okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to episode 16 of Memoirs of a Vagina. This is a series that I created um, a while ago now. We're talking about vaginas. Stories that my vagina has to tell, experiences that she's been through, situations that, you know, she thought she was alone in, but turns out she's not alone because all of you beautiful motherfuckers out there have commented on my videos and made me realize that it's not just me that goes through this shit. For real, for real, for real. I cannot explain to you how grateful I am for every single one of you that has supported, commented on any single episode that has been in this series because this is has been a lifelong struggle for me. What I thought was a struggle. It was, it a, was struggle a struggle because, because I, thought I thought I was alone and, alone and I thought and there was something, something wrong with me all this time, time having a weird vagina. vagina. I've really found comfort and I've grown a lot of confidence in myself and my vagina and my vulva since posting videos and talking about it and receiving the amount of support that I've received so thank you so much I'm so excited to take memoirs of a vagina worldwide maybe I could write a book if you would like me to write a book called memoirs of a vagina please comment down below because I think that'll be some something pretty cool if there's any publishing houses out there that would like to do me a deal email me enough of the chit chat we're going to be talking about 10 discharge problems that i experience and i know a few of you well i know a lot of you also experience a few of these also there are a few things on here that i haven't actually spoken about with anyone before so it might just be me that goes through it but there's a very high fucking chance that it is not just me so please comment down below if you relate to any of this while we're on the topic of vulvas and vaginas i want to shout out to my friend kim eat millies she is the most amazing person and whenever i wear this titties top you always ask me where it's from. That's where it's from. As we're on the topic of memoirs of a vagina, I'm going to be sipping out of my Volvalicious mug, so. <sighs> Support small businesses, bitch. Let's get into the video. I never say that. People always say, let's get into the video. And I'm always like, okay, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Something that I always thought I was alone with, because I never spoke about it, nobody ever spoke about it, tissue getting stuck to your labia. <laughs> Mate, the amount of times I have had tissue stuck to my labia because my discharge is kind of sticky sometimes. It just kind of like holds on to toilet roll. I have experienced this and you know, you look down and you're like, my discharge is extra lumpy today. Oh no, it's not. It's just tissue from when I went to the toilet. Clearly had really fucking wet discharge that it broke the tissue down so much that the fibers congealed and um, just decided to hang around and stay there. And along with that, also, have you ever experienced looking in your underwear and your discharge is dried into your knickers, yeah? But also along with the discharge drying into your knickers, other things have dried into your knickers too. I've seen fluff in there. I've seen a cat in there. I've seen last night's dinner in there. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I'm exaggerating a little bit just for entertainment purposes. Have you ever looked down and you see a bit of black fluff or um, in my case, <laughs> Natalie's pubic hair in my discharge? Our vaginas are self-cleaning, right? So that's the whole purpose of discharge. Discharge cleans out your vagina. And you know, we're lesbians. Every now and then we give scissoring a go, see if we're magically any better at it without any practice. And then her pubic hair is obviously in my vag. That goes up there when she fingers me or whatever. It comes out because my vagina cleans myself and it comes out and dries into my discharge and confuses me for a hot second. <laughs> and then I realize this is what it does. Yeah, never really spoke about that aspect of my discharge of anyone things drying in it apart from when i spoke about it on the come curious podcast fuck's given check that out down below i was on a podcast so go check that out go check it out when you go to the toilet <laughs> okay <laughs> your discharge is still creamy and it's still it's still you know moist in there and you put your knickers back on after you've finished up having a shit or whatever it is you've done on the toilet and obviously the discharge is cold vulva is warm so it's quite a shock to the old system sometimes it can be a bit of a um oh <laughs> it's quite an uncomfortable feeling i really don't like it maybe there are some people out there that enjoy the cold feeling uh if you're one of those people let us know <laughs> and for at least like a few minutes I'm walking around 
feeling like I've pissed myself or something, like something's just not right. When you're out and about, or maybe even just at home, but it's even scarier when you're out and about, and maybe you haven't had that much discharge in the day yet, which is like, wow! I look in my undies and there's like barely anything there and it's like three o'clock and I'm like, how is this happening? Okay, but then um, it, it, it checks me. Who got checked me? <laughs> because sometime later, I have what feels like my period is starting and you can just feel it and it just feels like that much just comes out of your vagina. It feels like a whole load of blood just came out of my vagina. It's also warm and there might be an air bubble or two in there and I'm like, fuck, I've just started my period. Go to the toilet. <laughs> no, honey. It's just the discharge that has for some reason been vacuum sealed up there all day. It's built up, the discharge is added throughout the day and for some reason the air bubble has now broken and it's all just come out. You haven't actually started your period. <laughs> Surprise, it's just your discharge. The amount of times I've been at work and I'm like, oh shit, my period just started. I haven't got any warning and then you go and then it's not. It's just your discharge. This is actually something that gets me down and it has got me down ever since the beginning of my discharging career. <laughs> Especially when I was at school, sitting down and being able to smell your discharge because you're wearing a skirt and it's stuck to the tights and now the tights is just wafing this smell through the air and you're just literally just sitting here as I am and you can smell your badge. They ask you how you are. Your discharge doesn't always smell that great and you know, you're sitting with your friends or you're sitting with boys and you know when you're you're fondling about and you're flapping around play fighting and like someone's head might end up near you i've had a problem with that for a long time i still experience this now especially if i'm wearing leggings of any kind there's not really much getting away from it and that leads me on to the next discharge problem, which is it leaking on to my clothing. The biggest problem I have is when I'm wearing something black. So if I'm wearing black jeans, black shorts, black shorts I find is the worst, like cotton shorts. My discharge will leak through my underwear and then it will go on to my clothing that I'm wearing. So let's use the example of my black shorts. It will leak through onto my black shorts and at the end of the day or even just during the day i'll go to the toilet and i look and i'm like why is there this white stain on my shorts it is so annoying bro am i am i actually the only one that experiences this it is annoying i'm not gonna lie to you and especially like you know if you're like dating or whatever and you know you just throw them off and then there's like okay fair enough you've got stain on your underwear but why is it also on your shorts <laughs> this is mostly when i'm at home this is mostly when i'm like having a heavier discharge week or whatever i would most of the time just go to the toilet to wipe the discharge away it might be a waste of tissue a waste of resources when i can feel it in there and it's mostly when i can feel it leak onto my knickers i go to the toilet just to wipe my knickers and to wipe my vag scoop up that if I'm downstairs, I will get a piece of tissue and I will literally just pop it into my knickers just so I don't have to feel that. And I'll probably change my underwear. I'll probably change my underwear. <laughs> Shit! If I'm gonna have to rate these on a scale of most annoying, I'm gonna give it number place number two for now, okay? And we'll see how it goes. Waking up in the morning, basically having to run to the toilet every single time. Because <laughs> if I don't get there in time, the discharge will start running down my legs. Most of the time I'll wake up and I'll lay in bed for a little bit, but I can't lay in bed for too long because I know the longer I lay in bed, the more discharge is gonna collect in my vaginal canal, which brings me at a higher chance, a higher risk of it rushing down my legs as soon as I stand up. Like this morning, for example, I just sat up on my bed for a minute and as I scooted away, my discharge was on my bed. People don't believe me when I say this, but literally when I stand up in the morning, nine times out of 10, creamy white discharge is literally escaping down my leg, just down my inner thigh, just like this. Also, if I wanna have sex in the morning, I mostly never do because I know there's gonna be loads of discharge in my vagina and I just don't feel good about it. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not there yet. I still don't feel good about it. You've been sleeping for like however many hours, so there's a high chance that a lot of discharge is collected and added up. 
any time you're gonna have sex, or most of the time, you feel the need to wipe your discharge away from your vagina, don't you? Don't lie. Don't you do, don't you? You probably start making out and you're like, for fuck's sake, in your head. Like, for fuck's sake, I'm gonna go to the left corner of the toilet. And then so you go to the toilet. If you don't have baby wipes and whatever you use, I don't know, and you wipe away the discharge. I know for a fact that I'm not the only one that's done that. It does really fucking ruin the moment. I have got a lot better at it since being in a longer term relationship, but at the beginning, it was an issue for me. Even still now, if she wants to go down on me and if there's wipes nearby, I will use it. But to be honest with you, I haven't been I haven't buying been wipes lately. Because, because I'm trying, trying to get rid of, get rid of baby wipes out of my life. But I'll go to the toilet and I will literally get a flannel and I will wipe, or I'll just put my hand in there and I'll wipe it. It ruins the spontaneity. But I'm trying to get better at it because I know that it's very normal to have discharge and there's nothing wrong with it. But at the same time, I also don't want her to be eating it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a conflict in my head. I can't find the balance. <laughs> I can't find the balance. <laughs> the balance. <laughs> the Balenciagas. <laughs> On those lighter vaginal discharge days, there'll be times where, you know, I'll get up, I get ready, I'm going out in the morning. By the time I've left the house, I haven't discharged into my knickers yet. So when I do go outside, and I find this most commonly an issue in the winter, if I'm wearing leggings especially, I'll be out and I'll be at the bus stop, and then all of a sudden, and then the wind blows, and there's a breeze. And that breeze has made the discharge feel so cold that you feel like you've pissed yourself. Another thing that I experience or actually don't experience because having vaginal discharge holds me back from this and it's something that a lot of people will probably not be bothered about but for me, this is something that I will literally never be able to do. I can't go commando. I cannot possibly ever go commando and it's really stressful because it's quite a sexy thing isn't it to go commando like i can't go commando i how many times can i say it i cannot go commando i'll be at sleepovers at my friend's house she would always wear shorts just little booty shorts at night time but no knickers and i'd be like how are you not wearing your knickers right now and she'd be like what do you mean and i'm like oh never mind nothing don't mind me i'm gonna just sip my tea and <laughs> I just don't get it because if I physically ever went commando, it would be running down my legs. Hell to the bloody no! It's just not gonna happen. Until when I get older and I dry up, maybe then I'll start going commando. This is a desire of mine, guys. I'm being serious. I want to go commando. I want to know what that feels like. I want to feel my pubes blowing in the wind. It's a sad truth and it's something that I really, really had to come to terms with, you know? I'm sad about it. I'm not gonna lie, but you know, I've gotta go over it, so. You know, I've got other things to worry about, do you know what I mean? I've got to worry about turning this YouTube career into a full-time job. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? And that, my loves, is it. Those are my 10 discharge problems that you can possibly relate to. If not, I just feel good enough to get them off my chest and to talk about them and just to, you know, share it with the world. Please, please, please comment down below any other topics or any other videos you'd like me to cover. I will talk about anything, honestly. I think, I think, you know, you can know that now I'm gonna talk about anything. I just wanna share my stories with you guys. I wanna share my experiences and I want you guys to share yours with me. So please comment down below. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and a wonderful life. I love you guys so, so much. Thank Thank you for all the love and support you give me. I'm gonna see you back here very, very soon. Very, very soon. Very, 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 very soon. Peace out, homies.